In this video, we will be talking about study skills for biology. How is the study of biology different from other sciences? Biology is the study of living organisms. It looks at their interactions with not only each other, but with their environments as well. The definition for biology is broad because the scope of what is looked at in biology is vast. In biology, you may study anything from the microscopic or submicroscopic view of a cell to ecosystems and the whole living planet. Topics can be from genetics to environment to diseases. So much can be discovered and learned when studying biology. When studying biology, remember this topic is fluid because when studying, living organisms may change and evolve, which will change what is known about them and thus change what you learn. The first tip when studying biology is to ask yourself, why does what I am studying matter? Why is this topic important and how is it useful in the world? For example, if you are looking at protein synthesis, ask yourself, why is this important? Well, without protein synthesis, we wouldn't be alive. Now ask yourself, how is protein synthesis useful in the world? Protein synthesis can protect us from pathogens. When studying biology, you get an in-depth understanding of the natural world around you. You learn how to problem solve and think critically as well. If you can see and answer how the topic you are studying is important and useful, that will help you remember the concepts and understand them more, for you are putting them in your world itself and finding how they fit. Use mnemonics. Mnemonics is a technique that helps you remember important information. This technique connects new learning to prior knowledge through the use of visual and or acoustic cues. The basic types of mnemonic strategies rely on the use of keywords, rhyming words, or acronyms. Let's look at a few for biology. Here is one to help remember the white blood cells from greatest to least. Never let a monkey eat bananas equals neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, isocinophils, and basophils. To remember the order of the scientific classification of taxonomy, did King Philip come over for great spaghetti is domain, kingdom, philium, class, order, family, genus, and species. To learn the stages of the cell cycle, go Sally, go make chicken. G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase, M phase, and C phase. For remembering essential amino acids, any help in learning these little molecules proves truly valuable. A is arginine, H is histidine, I is isoleucine, L for leucine. T is threonine, L is lysine. M is methionine, P is phenylalanine, T is tryptophan, and V is valine. Another way to remember a topic is to do active recall. Active recall helps to stimulate the memory. Here, you will write the topic on a piece of paper. Turn around and try to talk aloud everything you remember about that topic without looking. Pretend you are teaching the topic to someone. Once you are done, turn around and see what you missed or need to focus more on. Walk away from this topic for a bit and come back to it later on to see if you remembered more. Draw structures as you learn them. In science courses, we spend a lot of time learning about various structures. To help you study and remember them, try drawing the structures as you learn them. Label each part of the drawing clearly and color in the sections. Spending time creating these drawings will help to reinforce what you are learning while also creating a valuable study tool you can return to again and again. Draw diagrams. By drawing the diagram and labeling it, you will learn a complex system easier. You will enhance your understanding of the structure and function of an organism or systems. Find a diagram and place a piece of paper over it. Once on the blank piece of paper, label each part. Do these continuously and you will learn that body system. Biology can be a very visual course. A flowchart can take a complex process and simplify it in a manner that makes the information easier to learn and remember. Read the chapter twice. The first time you read the chapter, focus on getting an overall understanding of the concepts. The second time you read the chapter, take notes or create flashcards. This will help you remember the materials and prepare you to study for any tests or quizzes. Supplement your learning. Educational videos, podcasts, academic resources. One of the best ways to remember definitions and concepts is to repeat them out loud. Say them over and over again to yourself. You may even want to record yourself and listen while you are going to and from work. This repetition will help them stay in your mind. Take what you learned and start a conversation with someone about them. 
This will reinforce the topic in your mind and help you learn the concepts at the same time. You can also see what you understand as well, for if you can explain it to someone, then you understand the concepts. Remember that when studying, you don't need to do every chapter and topic at one time. Research has shown that the most effective way when studying is to do them in small time sessions and learning small amounts of information at one time. For example, break your studying times by organ systems so you learn one organ system at a time. The last tip is to use sketchnoting when trying to learn a new topic in the course. Sketchnoting is a visual form of note-taking. To begin, make sure you have everything you need to sketchnote. Once you have the pen, paper, and colored pencils, you can start. Sketchnoting is great in biology for complex systems and processes. At the top of the page, write the main idea the sketchnote will be about. For example, if you are creating a sketchnote about cells that split, you would write cell division at the top of your notes. Next, you would draw the sketch of the type of cell division this page is looking at on the left side. Perhaps you have this page on mitosis. In this case, on the left side, the drawing would be of each stage of the splitting process. At the top of the drawing, you would have the cell before it starts splitting. Next would be a drawing of what is happening inside the cell to cause the cell to split. Finally, you would draw the result of mitosis, the two new cells that were made as a result. On the right side of your notes, you would explain in your own words what is happening at each stage that was drawn. You can vary this as well, where the drawing and explanation can be combined. In this video, we have gone over a few tips to help you with studying biology. For more study skills, visit our YouTube page titled Ask ASC. Thank you, and have a great day!